how to spot a weak man and how do these insecure weak men end up dating pretty women? Hello, my name is Greta Brishita. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value women secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Sunday. And in this video, I will share with you three signs on spotting a weak man, a weak toxic man that you should never date. Don't forget to take my free self-awareness test to find out are you behaving as a high value or a low value woman that weak men manipulate. Yes, we can easily manipulate a low value naive woman. So check yourself that you are behaving high value. Also, I have a free goodie on my website which you can download. It's called Love That Last. I'll put a link in my video description box below. And if you didn't get it yet, I highly recommend you ladies to buy my book which is called Devoted Relationships. If you would like to learn to be strong and to be high value from the core. So um, now, without further ado, how do you spot this weak guy? The number one sign is he is a chaos, which means he does not know what he wants. A strong, secure man will always know what he wants and he will come after you strongly powerfully. He will test you to see do you tick his boxes and then he will firmly offer you a relationship with him. If he sees that you don't tick his boxes, he will move on. Yet this is not what weak, insecure men do. Instead of coming to you strongly and giving you security and safety, what we do, we bring on chaos. So one day he says how much he's into you and how amazing you are. Next day he says, oh, I don't know what I want. I don't know how I feel. I'm not ready for this or for that. So what a weak man will give you, he will give you uncertainty. He will make you feel very insecure. He wants you, he doesn't want you. He is one day he's hot, next day he's cold. He's gonna make you feel very uncertain about everything. He's gonna make you feel anxious. He will make you overthink things. And he himself will come towards you as a wishy-washy. As if you look at his actions at his and at his words, you will see that you can never trust this guy. Because one day he says, I want you. Next day he says, I don't know what I want. I'm not ready for this or that. So how can you trust this person? You ask him to do something, one day he says yes, next day he doesn't know, right? So this type of like wishy-washy, hot and cold, I don't know what I want, unstable, Peter Pan, immature, teenage type of feel. Number two sign that you are dating a wishy-washy guy a guy that gives you hot and cold, a weak, insecure man is when he splits the bill 50-50. A secure, confident man will never put a woman in a position to pay for a date. Why? Because he will feel embarrassed himself as a male. In my country where I'm from, maybe the culture is a bit old-fashioned, but men are embarrassed not to pay for a woman. If a guy is going out somewhere with women, he would make sure to pay for all of them. He would not let anyone pay because he it will be embarrassing for him as a male. So a secure provider type of man will take that bill with pleasure and confidently when he takes you out. On the date, you won't even have a feeling or a question in your mind that is he gonna split it 50 50 
or what's gonna happen next. You will just see by his presence, by his confidence, by the security that he gives you, that he will cover the bill 100%. The thought of him not doing it will not even cross your mind. And of course, a weak, insecure, chaotic type of guy who thinks he's the price, who thinks he's the gift, who thinks he's the cat, will make you feel uncomfortable, will embarrass you, and will belittle you by splitting the bill 50-50. One thing that these guys don't realize is when you make a woman pay 50-50, you don't just embarrass a woman like she's not worthy of that meal. You also embarrass yourself as a man because you're saying, I'm not a provider. I'm not a real masculine male. I'm just an immature little boy who doesn't even have the right manners, who doesn't perhaps even know about the right manners and is comfortable in doing the wrong thing and making a woman pay. Number three sign how to spot a toxic, immature, weak man is he is not a protector. He does not know how to protect a woman. So perhaps he doesn't pick you up, he doesn't drop you home, he doesn't check that you got home okay, and you guys are not together, he doesn't text you, he doesn't call, he doesn't check how are you, he doesn't check do you need anything, he doesn't check is everything okay with you, he doesn't check do you need help. Ladies, when a man cares about a woman, he will check in on her. So if a guy cares about you and he's a masculine male, if you are going out and you're telling to your boyfriend that you're going out, he will say, babe, I hope you have an amazing time. Let me know when you get home or please let me know where you are going and please keep your phone not too far from you just in case something happens. When you are dating a strong, secure, masculine man that cares about you, you're going to get a feeling from him that you are protected at all times. You're gonna feel insanely secure, you're gonna feel confident, literally like he's watching over you but nobody would dare to put that finger on you. An insecure, weak man will just not have this presence. He's not gonna know how to look after you, he's not gonna know how to protect you, and even if you are confronted on a street or somebody's uh, approaching you on a street inappropriately, he's not gonna know how to stand up for you. Ultimately, weak and secure man, we don't live in this world following some sort of moral standards, moral values, be more like in this world to take advantage of you. Whatever he wants, he will think of some sort of strategy to go and get it. Even if it means playing games with you, even if it means manipulating you, even if it means using you and then leaving you all damaged. You might say, how could a person do something like that? Well, it's usually because we don't take responsibility for other people. We only take responsibility for themselves. So when he's coming after you with a strategy to use you or to have you, he's only covering his tracks and giving himself, and if confronted to the public eye, all types of excuses just to cover his own tracks. However, he does not care what he will do to you, he does not care what type of damage he will cause towards you because he feels like he's not responsible for you. So now, if he's weak, insecure man, so horrible, how do we get these pretty girls? Now, ladies, pay attention, I said pretty girls. I didn't say high value women. These weak men will get insecure, 
toxic pretty girls that are intrigued by drama and don't really have moral values or moral standards too that are naive and gullible and easily manipulated these girls same as the peter pan guys never grew up these girls find the drama thrilling and exciting these girls allow the chaos because we are little girls and not the high value women. These weak and secure boys end up dating these little girls because they allow 50-50. Because they believe that men and women are exactly the same. And after a while, we start to compete with men and even prove to men that women perhaps are better than men or stronger than men or more achieving than men. You might say, okay, that's great, you know, a weak man, a weak woman, we may live happily ever after. Well, that doesn't happen either. If you as a woman start to compete with a man, you actually behave masculine. And a man who is a weak, insecure man, he is still a man. He is still not a woman. So when a woman behaves masculine and, and starts to compete with a guy, end up having two masculine energies rubbing against each other. And would that work in a male and female's relationship? Of course not, not. So ladies, I hope I gave you quite enough of red flags to observe. If you liked this video, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what did you think. Join Greta's High Value Women's School where we are all in the same boat, learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Code. If you would like some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or a member of my team, you can book us all on my website, gretabrishita.com. Um, I also have videos for sales such as how to stay attractive via text, games men play on women, how to control your emotions, how to get your ex back. And on top of that, I have a business package for sale and a high value woman course for sale. Thank you so much for watching. Kisses from Dorset. Mwah.